One scream led to her parents' death. It all began with Mr. Delroy, Kat's father, refusing to sell his company to Mr. and Mrs. Claxon. Mr. Fozzie gave Kat a candy apple as they wanted to leave. As Mr. Delroy was driving, Kat took a bite and screamed. As they turned to see what's wrong, the car ran out of the bridge and they drowned. Her mom then sacrificed her life to save Kat. Ever since that day, Kat suffered from a trauma she got because of the incident. Moving on, Wilde and Wendell spent all their time applying hair cream on their dad's hair, Buffalo Belzer. Wendell got angry and confronted Wilde for stealing the hair cream. As Wendell was talking, Wilde grabbed him and made him have a test of it. The magic cream made them had a vision of Kat. Suddenly, their father interrupted. Meanwhile, Kat all grown up, was chained for causing troubles. She was brought back to Rust Bank, her hometown, where her parents died, to start all over. After that, as Raul was doing his project, he had a sound from outside and decided to check it out. It was Kat who had just arrived at her new school, RBC. Later on, Sweetie, Sloane, and Siobhan along with her goat came to welcome Kat, while Raul was watching from upstairs. As he wanted to look closer, a loose block fell, but Kat immediately had a vision and pushed Siobhan away to save her. As Siobhan hugged her, the sisters took her in immediately. Kat met with Father Best. He gave her a uniform, then she left. She dressed different from the other girls and sat at Raoul's back. Sister Hallie, their class teacher, brought an octopus to the class. As she was teaching, she told Kat to come forth to take a look. As she obeyed, the octopus turned red and she had a shock that gave her mark on her hand. Immediately, Sister Hallie took her outside the class to calm her down. She told her the mark makes her special. But Kat got angry and left. Next scene, Wilde and Wendell have this big dream of building a dream fair for the dead in order to compete with their father's park, the Scream Fair. A bug brought news about Kat to the demons. After that, as Mr. and Mrs. Claxon complained that the councils do stop their plans, Father Best jokingly told her where to find the council members that will vote for her. He said, she'll find them in the cemetery. So, she felt hopeless and wanted to leave. Father Best then wanted to threaten them because they won't support his school anymore. Because of that, they made him drown. Meanwhile, Raul's mom has been investigating who caused the fire outbreak in Cat Dad's company. As Cat went to bed, she kept on having the same memories of what happened that day. In this one, she met Wilde and Wendell, her personal demons, who told her they can bring her parents back to life, only if she agrees to summon them to the land of the living. She agreed, so they told her what to do. At Father Best's funeral, Cat dragged Raoul to be her witness. She summoned them with a doll she stole from the class. It worked actually, but the demons arrived at the other side of the cemetery. She felt disappointed. So, she saw Sister Hallie and left with her. The demons wanted to test if the hair cream can bring back a human to life, so they tested it on Father Best's dead body. Father Best thought of introducing them to Mr. and Mrs. Claxon to make a deal. Moving on, Kat found out the demons brought Father Best to life and not her parents. Sister Hallie and Manberg, a demon hunter, noticed another hell maiden has come. Mr. and Mrs. Claxon finally strike the deal with the demons to raise the dead council to vote for her, but warns them not to raise the brewery owner, Kat's parents, from the dead. Finally, Kat saw the demons. She was told to take an oath to serve them for eternity. She wanted to see her parents badly, so she did it. They distracted her by sending her to get food for them while Raoul digs. At last, they raised the dead. As they fell asleep, Raoul stole the magic hair cream to raise Kat's parents. Moving on, Buffalo Blazer noticed they were gone. As Kat entered her old house, she met her parents. The only way to help Kat was to bloodbind two hell maidens to help the other. Sister Hallie gave her the confidence to face her trauma. After that, Sister Hallie gave her the gift to foresee the future and passed out. Father Best and the demons then kidnapped her parents. Before you know it, everyone gathered in one spot, as Siobhan ran to tell Kat about her parents' plan on the city. They all teamed up to fight for their city. The bad news is that the cream doesn't last forever. Kat got her inner peace while her parents rest in perfect peace. Don't forget to subscribe for exciting recaps on this channel. Thanks for watching.